Hello everybody and welcome back to Elite Bee Society. Uh, I'm Dr. Hariri, the founder and chief administrator at Elite Bee Society, which is a bilingual academy of English and Persian, as you are already familiar, you might be familiar with. Uh, the domain is very simple, you can easily find it. Where is that? Here it is, elitebee.net. And uh, so you can just visit our website and if interested you can participate in our Persian and English classes or actually go for monthly subscription. Uh, well in this presentation I'm going to uh, talk about uh, another uh, a unique actually topic and this is all about the collection of our English uh, and also Persian short stories for our English and Persian students and members. And uh, in this presentation, I'm going to focus on our Persian learning and Persian classes and Persian students and the collection of our Persian uh, short stories. So we have collected and translated and produced actually uh, over 100 best Persian short stories so far. And the number is going on and on. I mean, the number is increasing every day and we do not just stop here. And why we have just gone through this painstaking process of gathering and collecting over 100 Persian stories, this is because of the fact that actually, uh, again, neurologically speaking, I have a really great taste in neurology. Uh, when, when you just teach something, particularly to young learners with the help of stories, fables, fictions, uh, with the help of universality of literature, actually they automatically forget that they are learning something they are learning a second for second foreign language so this is the process of learning would become natural more natural and also more interesting uh, because you know um, you you might belong to a variety of cultures nationalities and therefore no matter to which nationality and culture you are uh, belonging to or you belong to you can easily communicate with Persian stories just because of the universality of literature. So uh, it's not culturally bound and also nationally bound. Uh, and the topic, I mean, the central message, which is usually a moral message to take, uh, is very, uh, very easy to grasp and actually to discuss over. Uh, so, and also another feature uh, another advantage of using short stories to teach and learn Persian is that uh, it minimizes, I mean, they minimizes or normalizes the, a high level of stress and anxiety in, the, in Persian students, uh, which is to some extent natural. And also, this could, this could make a very good uh, platform for optimizing student interactivity and also teacher interactivity and student student interactivity teacher student interactivity because of the fact that after just uh, studying the uh, persian student persian uh, lessons and persian stories and watching their videos they can communicate with each other they can just go through the questions at the bottom of each post or persian story because you know at the bottom of each persian story we have uh developed some questions and they are really uh, challenging and uh, uh, we because we want to make sure our students have uh, understood the Persian stories correctly and uh, another cool feature about the growing collection of our Persian stories is that they come with English versions almost unprecedented you cannot find actually 100 uh, Persian stories top Persian stories not with translation, but with English versions. It means that actually uh, there is another version, not translation, uh, another lesson, actually another category of English short stories. And we have just translated either uh, from English into Persian or from Persian into English. Therefore, this also makes a very good chance for you if you want to, if you plan to raise bilingual children. So if, you, if your, your child already knows English, and uh, actually we're Persian the other way around. Therefore, uh, this dichotomy of English and Persian actually versions uh, can help your children uh, become 
bilingual very easily. And uh, another cool feature about uh, the collection of our Persian stories is that uh, they come with videos. We have already taught them. I mean, both English and Persian versions or categories have already been taught. And our students actually can log into their account and uh, study the Persian and English uh, short stories and listen or watch the videos. And the videos or podcasts are embedded in the lessons. So what could be better than this? You know, this makes a, makes an all-in-one package, educational package for learning English and Persian. And I'm going to add more detail uh, about that. Yeah, I already I'm, I'm using my notes here. Uh, I already talked about bilingual raising bilingual child children. And uh, another point is that. Uh, uh, actually, short stories, interesting short stories, fables in which uh, the characters are animals usually. Uh, in Farsi, we say Dastan or Afsane, so Persian tales and fables or fictions uh, are very ideal for teaching young learners, teaching Farsi to young learners, because of the fact that, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, children or young learners have a very short or relatively shorter attention span. So they get bored easily, particularly if the classes are online and not physical or face-to-face -face classes. So they have a tendency to get bored. So it is completely 100% natural. So we have so much experience with that. You know, LLB Society, LLB .net, uh was born in 2015 before uh, coronavirus, the pandemic. And uh, so we have so much experience in teaching uh, young learners and we are completely aware of the fact that they get easily bored. So we need to just uh, feed them with something which is interesting, which, is, which can grab their attention. And short stories, believe it or not, is one of the best, actually, materials that could be used. And uh, because uh, the students, young learners, trying to learn Farsi can go through a, a variety of other activities when it comes to learning Farsi with short stories. And one of them is oral reproduction of short stories. Oral reproduction of short stories in Farsi, we say, Bahyan Shafahi Dastan. It means that, okay, the students and the young learners can read the stories and also they watch and study the English version from another category, you know, from another uh, package and they compare the, their understanding because usually our students actually are good at English. They are already good at English. They live uh, outside, outside of Iran. And uh, so they can go through a kind of comparative literature, you know, English, Persian. And this is also good for their English because uh, oh, they can learn a lot of English vocabulary at the same time. And with the help of that oral reproduction of short stories, actually, uh, they in the class, in our synchronous classes, uh, they, they are given this chance to express, to just uh, retell this story in their own words. And this is a very perfect way to practice speaking in Farsi uh, at the presence of the teacher and the other students, particularly in group classes. And then we will have a discussion over the a plot, the events, the characters of uh, actually those short stories, uh, which are basically animals, you know, in, in the case of fables. And uh, also, uh, as I said, uh, we will have a discussion and we'll, in, in, the, in these discussions, we learn a lot. Even I, as a teacher, have learned a lot. And uh, so, uh, by the way, at the end of, at the bottom of each lesson, each Persian lesson, there's a comment form. And uh, the students can, before and after the classes, actually, they can just express their ideas. They leave comments in the form of text and also voice, because we have a voice-based uh, voice comment form as well. So uh, learning is not just limited to one hour or two hour class per week. Uh, the other point is that uh, learning Farsi or Persian with the help of uh, actually uh, Persian short stories can give us this opportunity 
golden opportunity to the students actually to learn Persian vocabulary and expressions and even proverbs or zarbul masal, zarbul masal Farsi in context, in real context, not actually in a very uh, non-standard approach when they learn vocabulary out of context in isolation. We do not recommend that. Vocabulary should be learned in authentic or real context. Otherwise, it's just a kind of mnemonics or memory enhancing technique. It's not linguistically related. So uh, we, uh, because I have a PhD in, in teaching English, therefore actually the theories are, uh, are almost the same when it comes to teaching Persian or English to uh, non-Persian or non-English speakers. Uh, so learning vocabulary in context is highly recommended. Uh, and our Persian stories actually have provided this golden opportunity for our Persian learners. And also uh, the collection of English short stories, the same has happened there. And uh, another point uh, or advantage of learning Farsi and English with the help of short stories is that uh, you can take moral lessons. Didactic lessons could easily be taken and apply it to your life, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the simplicity of these short stories actually is really nice, but at, this, at the same time, they are very, very didactic, informative, educational, and learners, young learners, or even actually adult Persian learners, communicate with them very easily. They, they get immersed in the actually meaningful lesson that could be obtained applied to life and again actually the process of learning vocabulary learning Persian uh, second foreign language uh, languages would become easier more natural and more enjoyable so we have gathered and simplified some Persian stories from Rumi Nezami um, um, from actually uh, Saadi and some other uh, poets in Iran, actually, Dosi, by the way, and some. Uh, also, we have translated the most popular Aesop's fables, Dostan Hagi Aesop, Aesop's fables, in which the characters are animals, and this is these are really suitable for uh, teaching Persian to young learners. And uh, last but not least, uh, uh, actually, I should. Uh, recommend something to you and that is monthly subscription or membership to our uh, community actually we unfortunately our time is up almost completely so we can no longer uh, provide uh, live classes in Farsi or English you know instead we recommend uh, we, we highly recommend you to uh, opt for monthly membership or uh, subscription uh, I'm going to give you give an overview of uh, the benefits of monthly subscription. First of all, it is more cost effective. Uh, the price is almost at uh, equal to a one uh, a one hour private class, so uh, it is even actually cheaper than this. And uh, all, however, in return, you can gain you can gain a lot. You can access. Over 4,000 English and Persian le lessons, pri uh, premium lessons with videos. In the case of Farsi, over 400 Pers uh, Persian lessons. And overall, English and Persian, 4,041 4, so far. 4,041 uh, English and Persian lessons. And all of them come with videos based on flipped learning, inverted learning. And uh, also, we support. We support all of you 24-7. Uh, it means that you study the lessons, English or Persian, and you watch the videos. Actually, uh, there is a, a very uh, high standard, high quality uh, text-to-speech functionality. It means you select any text and you can listen to that. And also, uh, if you have any question, you can communicate with the teacher either on voice or text. It is as if the teacher is always next to you, interacting with you and answering all of your questions. And uh, so by just uh, opting for a monthly membership, it is as if uh, you have 
up to 30 private classes, 30 private private classes per month. And also you can try it free, you know, a monthly a membership and subscription, like online classes are on free trial. You can try them. And so uh, it's not, uh, as I said, it's not just limited to text interaction. You can also interact with the teacher and the other students on voice to practice speaking, oral speech or oral spe skills. Uh, so this is a very preferable, in, in our opinion, preferable way to practice Farsi and English. And uh, since this presentation was uh, basically on Persian short stories, you can access over 100 top short stories with English translation, with, with English version, and also common form and forums. And uh, yeah, you can also try everything free. So if you're really serious about learning Farsi enjoyably and interactively and academically, pleasurably, uh, we really recommend monthly membership to you on free trial. All right, I think I uh, covered all of the important points here in my script. And uh, remember, uh, I have written an article in English the script of this presentation and I will share the link to that article with you in the description area right down below and you can just access it it is free you know you don't need to have any uh, any account to study that so just go to the description area and click on the link below and read the actually text or script uh, of this or transcript of this uh, presentation thank you very much for your attention and uh, I uh, hope to see you soon in our next video. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.